Our story is about a town, a small town, which is called Daisy Town. From a distance, it represents itself like so many other small towns all over the world. Safe, decent, innocent. Get closer though, and you start seeing the shadows underneath. Three students live and study in a literature college in this town. They were writer candidates. One of them was from the West. His name was Heisenberg. He was the damaged, loner, outsider from the wrong side of the tracks. He wasn't born in a rarefied air, he didn't grow up with any silver spoons, but he had a strength to turn his life around and get a scholarship from Literature College. Despite his loner nature being a top act to crack, he had established faithful friendships in there, except his new class. Heisenberg, Jesse and Woody, they were totally strangers to each other. Jesse was from the north. He was born in an elite environment. His parents were wealthy and he was a spoiled prick and an insufferable boy. Woody was from the south. His parents had enough money to send him to the literature college. Like Jesse and Eisenberg, he had also developed a keen interest in writing. Gathering that classroom, they were strangers more than friends. And none of them could have guessed that their lives were fixing to change forever. Almost heaven, West Virginia Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River Love is old there, older than the trees Younger than the mountains, blowing like a breeze Country roads, take me home to the place where I belong West Virginia Mountain Mama Take me home Country roads Listen up folks, war is over, brand new sheriffs come to town We will lay our weapons down What? Don't you guys know this song? It's classic! You look so pale, is that a funeral or something? Actually, there is Really? Who's? A janitor's, Mr. Grounds do you think can I use Mr. Greyhound's death as an excuse to get out of class? Sorry professor, I just too depressed and freaked out right now to write essays. Dude, really? What? Sarcastic humor is just my way of handling with the world. Whatever. You got names? I am Moody and he is Jesse. What's yours? Walter. Walter White. You can call me Walty, you can call me WW, you can call me Heisenberg. You just don't call me late for the dinner, okay? Walter White? The Cowboy Woody Brown? The Teacher's Pet Jesse Pinkman? And The Ladies' Man Today we 
are going to write a short story to see your skills, then we are going to criticize them. Challenge accepted. Discussion is open. What is everyone take on Jesse's story? In a word, astonishing. Thank you. What about you, Alte? Was it good? Yeah, it was good. Don't hold back, Walte. I need more. I can take it. <laughs> to be honest, was really my taste. It was sound like Salinger derivative. Thank you for that constructive criticism, Walter. Do you mind if I give you my thoughts on your story? What was it? The Old West? It was a pure tawdry waste of time. It was pulp. Pulp is not an insult for me. Your story is more like pretty in abandonment issues. Hey, hey, hey! Keep it clean, guys. Taste aside. All good writings have one thing in common. Authenticity. That's my problem then. I can't relate to Walter's work because I'm not from his world. I don't have any experience with low lives or criminals or trailer trash. No, I can give the crash course in about five seconds. Is the zero violence tolerance policy in this college? Do you hear it? We were angry, of course, at each other, at ourselves. But little by little, hour by hour, the walls we'd hidden behind all our lives started breaking down. As chocolates and coffees were shared, the bravado fell away. And a group of misfits became unlikely friends. Don't take seriously his attitude, he will be okay. Hopefully. By the way, I found the book you are looking for. Wow, thanks mate. I appreciate it. Anytime. Wanna some coffee? Yes, but only if you're treating. So, I read your story and it was pretty badass. Thanks pal. Wanna team up for a little distraction? What do you mean by that? I'm planning to establish a literature community. Let me be clear on this. You mean like five spellers or something? Exactly. I'm not messing around, dude. I'm in. There's an inn. A merry old inn, beneath an old grey hill, and there they brew a beer so brown that the man in the moon himself came down one night to drink his fill. The Osla has a tipsy cat that plays a five-string fiddle, and up and down he runs his bow, no skewing high, no peering low, no saving in the middle. The landlord keeps a little dog that is mighty fond of jokes, when there's good cheer among the guests. He cocks an ear at all the jests and laughs until he chokes. We rode for weeks, sneaking into school late at night, getting deeper. An hour. I know when to go out. I know when to stay in. Get things done. And we dubbed ourselves the Inkling Club. We abandoned the board to acting out our quests and adventures in the real world playing characters.
Some of us became a little more inseparable than others. Now, where to begin? Ah, yes. Concerning habits. Hobbits have been living and farming in the four farthings of the Shire for many hundreds of years, quite content to ignore and be ignored by the world of the big folk. Middle-earth being, after all, full of strange creatures beyond Kant, Hobbits must seem of little importance, being neither known as great warriors nor counted among the wary wise. In fact, it has been remarked by some that hobbits own real passion is for food. A rather unfair observation, as we have also developed a keen interest in the brewing of ales and the smoking of pipe weed. But where our hearts truly lie is in peace and quiet and good till the earth. For all hobbits share a love of things that grow. And yes, no doubt the others are ways seem quaint. And so life in the Shire goes on, full of its own comings and goings, with change, with change coming slowly, if it comes at all. Will you knock it off? Hey, Walty. Sorry for distracting you, genius. I'm just wondering, is that common for Islamic boys to have a rider among them? You're right. I was born in a ray fighter. I didn't grow up any silver spoons, but I had a strength to turn my life around and get a scholarship from this school. And I have friends and family actually care for me. Can you say the same? So why don't you join the Inkling Club instead of starting this fight? Alright Inklings, let's get right to it. Jess, what are you smiling about? You freaking junkie! You wanna go right now? Alright! Back down! Both of you, right now! From now on, the fight among Inklings is over! We're all Inklings now! And you know what, I think it's high time to our newer members learn about our laws. Repeat after me. In unity, there is strength. In unity, there is strength. I can't hear you, Jess. You wanna try that again? This is bullshit. Then you are to the gang, moron. Dude, how can I draw a horse? Guess what? With pastels, of course.
Hey, what's up? What's up is I saw you, man. You were doing drugs. It's none of your business. I'm trying to help you, dude. I'm trying to be your friend here. Even though we're not anymore. So how long? You and drugs. Since two weeks. I like them. So I'm guessing it's the reason you've been acting weird since two weeks. One of them. One of them? There is more? Akir is dead, Woody. You need some help. And you, you worrying about some, some cocaine. They are my friends. What the hell do you know about it? Or about me even? Nothing. But I used to know this guy once. Woody Brown. He wasn't perfect, but he always tried to do the right thing at least. Volt, if you tell anyone about this. What? What are you gonna do? Like I give a shit? You will end up like Jesse. His own bar of time. Okay, I will cut it, man. I promise. Whatever comes our way, whatever battle we have raging inside us, we always have a choice. My friend Woody told me that. He chose to be the best of himself. It's the choices that make us who we are. And we can always choose to do what's right. You do know I hate birthday parties, right? No, I wasn't. I just want to be together with our friends. You and Woody are my friends, okay? Everyone else, including Kevin, including Veronica, are people that two months ago I would have actively shunned. Why? In case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. I don't fit in and I don't want to fit in. Have you ever seen me without the stupid hat on? That's weird. Why are you getting so upset? It's just a party, Walt. It's not just a party. It's the fact that you don't know or even care that this is the last thing I would want. You did this for you, to prove something. To prove what? You're a great girlfriend. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't it ever occur to you just how different we are? Like on a cellular DNA kind of level. You're a straight A student. You're a cheerleader, for God's sakes. You're the perfect girl next door. I hate that word. I'm the damaged, loner, outsider from the wrong side of the tracks. Betty, come on. Who are we kidding? We're on borrowed time. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Betty, I'm not one of your projects, okay? No, you are not a project, you are my boyfriend. Until you are get sick of slumming it with me, or until Arch changes his mind and he says wants to be with you? You are nuts. No. This is nuts. Alright, I'm done. I'm out of here. Honey, I saw love. You see, 
it came to me It put its face up to my face so I could see Yeah, then I saw love disfigure me Into something I am not recognized You know, I guess one person can make a difference Dude, why do you have bread on your pocket? I don't know, why don't you have bread in your pocket? Girl trouble? You? Yes, unfortunately. And those I don't mean all that crap I said to you. I'm sorry. It's cool. We're not gonna hug in front of the whole town. So what if we both just do that bro thing where we not like douches and mutually express our emotions? Yeah, but it's friends, right? To be discussed over many burgers, over many days. someone on the outside, peering in, it would have looked like there were two grown-ups in that booth. But I was there, and I can tell you, really, there were only two kids. For one shining moment, we were just kids. Those bright neon lights of old vest keeping the dark set bay. Giving way is all night's must to a morning of reckoning. Our school field was sold, the world was not the same as it was. Where are you, Christmas? Why can't I find you? Why have you gone away? Where is the laughter you used to bring me? Why can't I hear music play? My world is changing I'm rearranging Does that mean Christmas changes too? Dear diary, life makes you think crazy things and maybe some of what I thought was wrong but maybe, maybe I was right about some things too maybe Jesse was dangerous in some way Tomorrow morning when we wake up the world will yet again be changed
Tear that place down too. Raise the whole place. Send to the junkyard. In us with it. Yeah. Maybe they'll save it. All the pieces. Stored in the town hall attic and rebuilt in a hundred years. Wonder who the hell we were. So what are we gonna do now? I'll figure out Jess. I always do. When life leaves you high and dry, I'll be at your door tonight If you need help, if you need help I'll shut down the city lights, I'll lie, cheat, I'll beg and bribe To make you well, to make you well When enemies are at your door, I'll carry you away from more If you need help, if you need help your hope dangling by a string I'll share in your suffering To make you well To make you well Give me reasons to believe That you would do the same for me And I would do it for you Like a drum, baby, don't stop beating Like a drum, baby, don't stop beating Like a drum, baby, don't stop beating Like a drum, my heart never stops beating For you, for you Baby, I'm not moving on I love you long after you're gone After much deliberation, we've come to our final decision. Congratulations, Mr. White. Welcome to Oxford. Wow, thank you, I'm so honored. Yeah. Good days, mister. Is your refrigerator running? Yeah, I suppose. Well, then you better go catch it! <laughs> that is rich. That's a good one.
İki gün sonra <gülüyor> Basket Hoca ciddi bak. <gülüyor> Pinkman. Your skills and we're going to criticize them together. <gülüyor> Alright guys, discussion is open. What we will be worried about is discussion is open. Uh, what does everyone what? take on Jesse's story? What? Uh, Keep it blind, guys. Taste aside. Taste aside. All good writings have one thing in common. All good things have one writing in common. Oh. Bash the call. Chuck, chuck, chuck, chuck. I was born in Ray Friday, I didn't grow up in silver spoons, but my dad, you're right, I was born in Ray Friday, I didn't grow up in silver spoons, but I had a strength to turn my life around and, and get a good. <laughs> We didn't knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Papa, I'm out. <laughs> 
Alıyor da aldım. Olabilir. Zaten hepsini aldım. Adam. Söylesene Jazz. <gülüyor> Jazz. What are you smiling about? Jazz. What are you smiling about? Dış şöyle yapsana. Ya. You are freaking junk. <gülüyor> you are freaking junk. You are freaking junk. Kasıyor musun bir an? You are freaking junk. You are freaking junk. You are freaking junk. You are freaking junk. You are freaking junk. Oğlum ağlayacak. Hadi lan. Şöyle yapma. Yok gözükmüyor. Mert'in. Mert'in gibi gözükmüyor. Seninki yok gözükmüyor. Eminsin. Eminen. Eminen. Eminen. Tamam. Oğlum bir dakika oldu hadi. Hayır. Başladı. Oğlum hadi Başladı Oğlum Oğlum Oğlum Oğlum Oğlum Oğlum Oğlum Oğlum Dur be lan Oğlum Oğlum Allah'ım sen bana sabır ver Allah'ım sana geliyorum Bir sahne bitsin Kardeşim kendin bitirmiyorsun Olmuyor olmuyor olmuyor işte Oyuncu değilim ki ben bunu yapabileyim. <gülüyor> tamam. I love it. Tamam kardeşim şu yapmış şu hareketi artık. Ya. Ne biraz sayı. Allah'ım. Allah'ım. Allah'ım. Allah'ım. Allah'ım. Allah'ım. Allah'ım. Allah'ım. Allah'ım. Allah'ım. Allah'ım. Allah'ım. Allah'ım. Allah'ım. All